So tell us a little bit about Joyful Joy for those who don't know yet. Okay, well Joyful Joy is a foundation organization that I founded with Sue Grow, and um, it's about spreading joy. My sister passed away from malaria in 2006, and when I was Miss Black USA, I felt it was a great opportunity for me to use my title and use my voice to, to bring awareness to malaria. What brought you here this evening? I came out to support the cause. I came out to support OSAS. I, I mean, th this the way this organization came to be, it was such a touching story, and she's been a friend of mine for years, so it, I, I had to come. I had to come. Absolutely. It's OSAS Hearts that you kind of you feel and really it draws you in. That's what drew me, drew me in actually as a board member. Can you tell us a little bit about what are the challenges related to malaria in the continent of Africa and other places in the world, if you know? Yeah, there's um, on average about 130 countries that suffer from malaria. Um, Africa, many of the countries in Africa is completely endemic. So countries like Uganda and East Africa and Nigeria are completely endemic and Nigeria is roughly 171 million to 175 million people and the entire country is susceptible to contracting malaria. Um, so, and they're battling many fronts, it's not just the actual parasite but it's the fake drugs. Um, the bed nets work and we built on that success but the total bite window is 16 hours. It's not 16 hours, it's not 6 hours, it's not 8 hours, it's 16 hours. So the infection is going to continue to spread until you close the total bite window, which um, the product that we created, Mosquito Armor, closes the total bite window to zero. This is a very special event for a very important reason, so make sure y'all support what we're doing right here, alright? Smoke it! In the building. We get ready to have some fun. It's going down. Um, I have a question. Am I the only person that gets a kick out of hearing people trying to explain cold sores on their mouths? <laughs> and I'm an asshole. I ask questions. What's going on with your lips? Uh, and Drake, he don't even know where the fuck he is. I don't know how he fucking got so rich. Hi, what am I doing? Oh, oh, I'm doing me. I met this one girl on Instagram pictures, cute as shit, look just like this. <laughs> met her in person. <laughs> bitch, who the fuck is that? Look at my phone. Look, where's this bitch I met? Did you eat her? Kevin, can you tell me how did you become involved with Joyful Joyful Foundation? You know, I met Osis about uh, three or four years ago, and I was working on my water initiative. She told me about her foundation, and we have a lot in common. You know, we care about uh, the plight of poor people and the things that affect them the most, and actually things like water and, and, and malaria and diseases are affecting them the worst. So we decided to see what we could do and work together. It was incredible. I really had a great time. It was a very good cause and I'm just glad to be part of it. I love New York. And it's very unique for us to do a comedy fundraiser. Have you done this often? Yeah, I've done. Not often, but I've done this at least probably once a year. Okay. You know, uh, as long as for a good cause, I don't mind coming in. Yeah. You know, go to this site. You know, support it is a for good, very great cause. Um, you know, and hey, if you ever want to be blessed, you have to give. So, you know, that's how I look at it as that's how you get blessed to give. So go on this site and support it for a good cause.